Hello, welcome to this presentation of plumbing parts identification. My name is Thomas Hicken and in this presentation we are going to go over compression fittings. Compression fittings are used commonly in water pipe systems but also in mechanical systems and even pneumatic systems. Compression fittings are installed by sliding the fitting over the outside of a pipe. The compression that seals the fitting is created as a nut is tightened towards the fitting and it compresses a ferrule, which is a ring that seals up between the tubing and the fitting. Compression fittings typically come with a brass ferrule, and these brass ferrules and fittings can be used on copper tubing. However, compression fittings can be used on plastic tubing, but in that case, you would want to use a plastic ferrule. If you use a brass ferrule on plastic tubing, there is a chance that as it compresses, that brass ring will cut the plastic tubing or weaken the wall strength and that can cause leaks. On smaller plastic tubing sizes, you'll want to use a stiffener, which is a small brass insert that goes inside of the plastic tubing. And then the compression nut and the plastic ferrule will push against that tubing, but the brass insert will hold the tubing so that it will not collapse. In some of the smaller sizes, if the tubing collapses, it can either leak or come apart. Let's talk about fitting sizes for a minute. Compression fitting sizes are described by the size of the pipe or tubing that they would be installed onto. Let's have a look here at some of the different sizes that you can get and that we would commonly use as plumbers. Two things you need to understand. One, OD stands for outside diameter. ID stands for inside diameter. When we describe the compression fitting, we're saying OD. When we describe the tubing, we're referring to inside diameter, ID. With that in mind, check out this list. If we have a quarter inch OD compression fitting, that would install onto an eighth inch ID pipe. If we have a 3 8 OD compression fitting, that would install onto a quarter inch ID pipe. If we have a 5 8 OD compression fitting, that would install onto a half inch ID pipe or tubing. And if we have a 7 8 OD compression fitting, that would install onto a 3 quarter ID pipe. Now one of the most common sizes that we deal with in compression fittings is the 3 8 outside diameter or OD. This is used on all kinds of supply tubes for fixtures, and that is why it is the most common one that we see as plumbers. Look at this fitting. This is actually a 5 8 by 3 8 compression angle stop. So this is a shutoff valve used at the fixtures, but you can see both sides of this has a compression end. The 5 8 compression would fit onto a copper pipe, or it could fit onto PEX, but there's better options than a compression fitting for PEX, I promise. And the other side has the 3 8 compression. You can hook up a poly supply tube to that with a plastic ferrule, or you can hook up a braided supply tube, which has a compression nut and a rubber gasket built into the supply tube itself. Important note here, compression threads are not the same as iron pipe threads. So do not try to thread those together. Let's have a look at a few compression fittings. We're not going to go too much into sizes, but I'd like you to be able to recognize what types of fittings there are and understand that you can get these fittings in a variety of sizes. We have a 3 8 compression coupling. We have a 3 8 compression T. Compression fittings generally come with a 3 8 compression brass ferrule. You can replace the brass ferrules with a plastic ferrule. So here we have two sizes of compression plastic ferrules. We have a 3 8 compression by half inch MIP adapter. We have a 3 8 compression by half inch FIP adapter. We have a 3 8 compression by 3 8 MIP dishwasher 90. We have a 3 8 compression by 3 quarter inch female hose dishwasher 90. We have a 3 8 by quarter inch compression coupling. 
We have a 3 8 compression cap. We have a 3 8 compression plug. All right, now that you're familiar with some of the fittings, let me give you a few tips for installation on compression type fittings. First of all, a little bit of pipe dope on the threads before you put the nut on is helpful because it lubricates and it tightens that in nicely. However, Teflon tape is not necessary. It's the ferrule that creates the seal and you don't need the tape. Plastic ferrules are okay for use on copper or chrome tubing. So you could take out the brass ferrule and put in a plastic and those seal up great. But as mentioned before, you do not want to use a brass ferrule on plastic tubing because it could damage the tubing. When you're tightening a plastic tubing with a plastic ferrule, you want to make sure that's really tight because that plastic could pop out and you don't want those sorts of leaks. On the other hand, do not over tighten the compression fitting on the end of a braided supply tube. So this concludes our introduction to compression fittings. Hopefully this is helpful to you. I promise if you spend any time in plumbing, you will run into them. I'll see you next time.